the passion and the, and the community that the GAA brings is just unbelievable and it's, it's like, a, it's such a good way to grow up to have this environment. I think the reason that I fell in love with MMA so much was the competitiveness of it. And obviously, that's why I loved the GAA as well. And I loved, I loved being here in the games because it was competitive. You know what I mean, I always loved sport, obviously, but it was the, that competitive side of MMA where it's just you in the cage and nobody, like, it's literally all down to you. Do you know what I mean? If it goes right, it's all down to you. If it goes wrong, it's all down to you. It's just the ultimate form of competition, getting locked into a cage and fighting another trained killer. It sounds sort of corny, but I always knew that I would make something of myself. And I know you sort of, it sounds sort of funny, but I always knew I had the potential to be really good at something and to be great. Like, as I said about like playing Ga, like as a, as, a, as a kid and as a teenager, like I always left my heart and soul on the pitch. Like I just, I just, I loved sport. I loved competing, um, but I just always knew, I always knew that I was going to do something with myself. And I think because I've, I've always been a workhorse, I've always been willing to put the work in to whatever I do. I was always the kid that was staying after training, coming before training, going for extra runs. Like that was me always. That was, that was always me. I was always just willing to put the extra work in. And I know like you can have talent, but I mean, you gotta have the hard work as well. So I knew I would be great at something. And it's, it's crazy how, like you hear about the butterfly effect and how, how certain wee small things can influence you and influence your life then. Finding MMA was the turning point in, in my life, I feel. Since then, and since I started competing like at a high level at amateur, then I started just realizing I can, I can be great. I mean, I can be, I can be something in this sport. I knew I was good, obviously, because I was fighting at the highest level at such, such a young age, but I never knew, or even at that point, believed the believed in where I could go. And it was until probably my pro debut where I won and KO'd the guy in like 90 seconds. That I was in the SSE in Belfast. And I took that one on like a week's notice, went in and s smoked the guy in the first round and the whole fight went viral. Like there was a lot of hype. And after that, I was just like, that's it. Like I'm all in, do you know what I mean? I know what I can do. Do you know what I mean? I, I know I can be a world champion in MMA. and. There was a day where I just said, that's it. You know what I mean? I just wrote it down. World champion. Cage Warriors world champion. I wrote that down and we're well on track. You know what I mean? A couple of fights away and we'll get that.